road leading here. It was hard for Amanda Morris Turn left. to imagine going in this direction. I was very pushy towards her to get it, it, it done. Walking into a tattoo shop with her 16-year-old daughter, Lexi. I did say they had to be 18 or older to get one. She was very firm on that. It is a permanent decision. Come on, come hither. As you can see, All right, put your hand right here. she loosened her stance. Not because she has a persistent teenager, but because of what her daughter has struggled with since early in her life. And by the time third grade got here, she was behind. She was reading at a first grade level. She wasn't able still to write her name the right way. I was just more confused why everybody else around me understood everything, but I didn't. They diagnosed her with dyslexia. She gets things backwards. Being on the verge of driving on her own only complicated things. I would be like, turn right, and she seriously just like looked straight at she's like, Mom, which way? And everybody tells you, you know, put your hands in an L. But my brain doesn't work that way. So when I look at my hands and you say, which one's an L, they both make L's in my head. So Amanda did what moms do finding a road her daughter could take. She called and messaged, asking how much it would cost to get an L tattooed on her daughter's left hand and an R on her right. That is, until she found Scotty Thompson. At Ambitious Inc. Is what they say. In Frankfurt. She had explained uh, that she had called around and uh, that she had 11 kids and that it just didn't make sense to really pay that much for that, but it was important to her. He's like, well, how about free? You know, it's no big deal. But it was actually quite the opposite. It has significantly helped me a lot, especially when I'm driving and the, I'm doing directions by myself. She's doing so well, she just passed her driver's test. And she just got her first car. A lime green Dodge Neon. To meet someone with the heart as big as Scotty's really meant a lot to us. It's beautiful. Like, I'm, I'm so happy. You know, it's like, I could cry, honestly. But I'm glad that it all happened the way it did. A kind-hearted tattoo artist designing a future behind the wheel for a tough team finding the route to confidence. And then it's nothing that I even have to even think about worrying about anymore. In Frankfurt with photojournalist Dominic Furman, Chris Souter, WDRB News.